Music has been an important part of my life for as long as I can remember. I was born in England into a musical family and began piano lessons with my mother when I was three. I attended private boarding schools and worked my way through examinations in piano, clarinet and music theory and also performed in school choirs and orchestras. My life changed forever when I was 12 years old after attending an organ recital. Mozart referred to the organ as the king of instruments, and I could understand why. I was mesmerized. I began organ lessons and soon became so obsessed with the instrument that I read everything I could about it. I spent every free moment I had learning the music of Bach, as well as that of French Romantic composers. And before long, I was performing organ recitals at some of the largest cathedrals in England. I immersed myself in the study of harmony, counterpoint, orchestration and improvisation, and I just couldn't get enough. Although I played cricket, rugby and soccer at school, over time I isolated myself more and more so that I could just concentrate on my music. When I was 17, I left England to attend Peabody Conservatory of Music in the United States, and so began a whole new chapter of my life. It was an exciting time, as I discovered many different styles of music which I had not experienced before. Soon I was experimenting with synthesizers and sequences, and my first compositions were born. It was suggested to me that I send some of my tracks to record companies, and after doing so, within a year, my first CD was released by President Records in London. I moved to Los Angeles when I was 21, where I worked as director of music at several large churches, and in addition to composing, I taught piano privately and performed piano and organ recitals. I recorded a second album using all electronic instruments, which was released by Prestige Records in London. I became so busy as an organist, choir director and piano teacher that it didn't leave much time for composing, which I had to reluctantly put on hold for several years. My organ recitals led to record contracts with Laserlight, which released two CDs of my performances of classical organ works. I had an agent and a manager and was soon rubbing shoulders with celebrities and influential people, but I didn't foresee what was around the corner. I became highly sought after as a piano teacher and every day was spent in amazing mansions in Malibu and Beverly Hills, but I was gradually being pulled away from my passion for creating and performing music, and basically I burned myself out. One day it all came to a head and I quit everything to pursue another passion which was scuba diving. I became an instructor and worked my way through the ranks to become a master instructor. Although I had gone from a very lucrative career to one of mediocre earnings, I felt free again. I moved to Thailand to teach scuba diving, after which I moved to Sri Lanka where I worked for a dive company owned by science fiction author Sir Arthur C. Clarke. After enjoying life as a bit of a rebel and a beach bum, I returned to life as a musician, but this time in Hawaii. Once again, I was working as an organist and choir director, as well as a piano teacher, but I made sure to include time for composing. My studio overlooked the beach and the Pacific Ocean, and I was never more inspired to write music. I felt calm and serene, and connected to the earth in a whole new way. In a short period of time, I completed the music for three solo piano CDs called Goddess, Angels, and Fairies. The music is soothing and calming, and reflects how I felt at the time. Little did I know that this would actually start me on a whole new path as a solo pianist and composer. Following the success of three piano CDs, I decided to create a Christmas album, and after playing my arrangement of Carol of the Bells to a few people, it was suggested to me that I make a video of the piece. I wasn't too sure how to go about it, but it sounded like a fun project. So it was filmed behind my house on a very windy day in Hawaii. The video became very popular, and people seemed to really like the style which I used for the piece. I set about writing more music, but with the same type of driving rhythms which were used in the bell carol, and The Art of Piano was born. Incantation was the next video I released, and I just continued from there. 
I created another soft and romantic album called Stories of You, which was nominated for the Whisperings Album of the Year Award, followed by Portrait of a Pianist, which is a combination of fast, exciting pieces and slower, gentler pieces. Following their success, I decided to leave behind my life of teaching, choral directing and organ work, and simply focus on creating new music for pianists to play. I receive emails from pianists all over the world every day who have questions about aspects of piano playing and composing, which has led me to writing a series of tutorial books. My life now consists of traveling to beautiful places throughout the world, and I use my experiences as fuel for inspiration with new compositions. As I create these new compositions, I never really know the direction they'll take, but they are always inspired by the magnificent journey of life. I love creating videos and sharing my music with people throughout the world. I look forward to sharing much more music with you in the future. Musically yours, David. <laughs>